Handling silica in construction. Many materials in construction give off crystalline silica dust during the process of cutting, abrading, breaking, grinding, or drilling. This is a very real threat to the long-term health of employees. According to OSHA, a small amount of very fine respirable silica dust is enough to put workers at risk, while inhaling an excessive amount of the mineral can lead to some serious, sometimes fatal illnesses, including tuberculosis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease known as COPD, lung cancer, kidney disease, and silicosis. Since everyone is physiologically so different, symptoms may be seen right away in some, while others may not see symptoms for years, if at all. To prevent the serious risk, OSHA has issued a set of standards that aims to protect workers in the construction industry from silica hazards. The standard requires companies to limit workers' exposures to respirable crystalline silica, while also providing flexible alternatives, which are especially useful for small businesses. An essential part of the safety measure against overexposure is the written exposure control plan, which includes the engineering controls, policies, mandatory practices, and respiratory protection that are being used to limit contact and vulnerability to crystalline silica. OSHA outreach training provides an overview of this, as well as other steps that can be taken in order to control silica hazards in the workplace. Keep every aspect of your construction operations safe and protect your workers from the side effects of overexposure to silica. The steps taken now can reduce the risk and help keep employees healthier long term.